Hey everyone, so you've just watched my Let's Play, and now I'm here with Richard Wood of uh, Stormcloud Games, and we're going to talk about the game and development and stuff. Let's do it. Let's do I'm it. excited. Yeah, so first of all, who are you? What do you do? Give me some details. I'm, of course, yeah, so I'm Richard Wood, Stormcloud Games, as you, as you said, um, and today I realised something, Tom. Yeah. Today I realised that I live in a world where, on Twitter, David Hasselhoff and Shu Yoshida both follow me. I've peaked, Tom. I have peaked. Life is getting no better than the Hoff and Shu following me on Twitter. That is, that is a peak. That is, that, that is definitely Hoff, a peak. Because Shu, I understand. Shu makes sense. I'm not, I think I tweeted one. him a gif one day. Shu's just Shu's go. I think I tweeted him a gif one day and he was like, I like this guy. I'm going to follow him. So, got the Hoff. That's impressive. I, I, it's pretty, pretty exciting. My best one's um, Cisco. Yeah. I, you have Cisco. That's, that, yeah. that's good. That's pretty That's good. pretty awesome. But he doesn't, it turns out he doesn't know what he's doing with Twitter. So if you, oh, really? yeah, basically anyone, if you just tweet him, he'll follow you back. Anyway. I'm on it. Yeah, I'm on it. Enough about Cisco. That's it. The, the trifecta. <laughs> um, but yeah, so other than being a, a Hoff and Shoe fan, um, I am production and marketing at Stormcloud Games, which is a fancy way of saying that I spend a lot of time on, on Twitter and looking at bugs, which is uh, pretty awesome. Can't, uh, can't complain. That's not a bad job. That is not a bad know, job yeah. at all. And then, of course, what is brutal and short? Obviously, people, I'm not sure how this is going to happen yet. This might be its detached little thing, or it could be the end of the Let's Play. But what is brutal in, in yeah, short? Yeah, sure. So, um, brutal is, in, in short, it is an ASCII inspired uh, dungeon crawler and roguelike. So, we're kind of taking those classic ASCII games that came out a long time ago, like sort of the, the first iteration of, of gaming in many regards, and we're doing sort of a 3D uh, homage to those titles. Um, so um, you know it's got permadeath as you'd expect um, and you're trying to get from floor 1 to floor 26 without dying we do have some other features in there like a save system and so forth but it's basically a, an ASCII inspired roguelike yeah. in Dungeon Crawler and talking about the save system there's one feature that I actually really love because it means this this game for me I'm I'm realising I've only been playing it a few days but I'm realising that this is one that I would jump into for just for 20 minutes half an hour yeah. and just leave yeah. again and I, it, it fills those little, at the moment that's perfect for me because I've only got little gaps of time during my days so I can just jump in kill some stuff leave it again save and walk off which I appreciate a lot I definitely appreciate yeah, yeah. that no. so you announced no, the game December last year at PSX is that yeah, right? Yeah. I've got my yeah, PSX yeah. t-shirt on look like, oh, nice, let me try crushing stand it. Up. PSX T-shirt. I like it. I like were you it. There then, I was there. Yeah. Uh, me and uh, me and Frank, the owner of the company, we were both there. So um, that was my first PSX. Oh yeah, my first PSX. Yeah. Um, I loved it. It was great. It was so much fun. It was fun. Yeah, it was awesome. It was a good, good event. And um, so, how many people? So you announced it in December. How yeah. how long has it been in development? How long has it in development for? So from um, concept till now, it's been a year and a half. So from like initial, we should do this game until now, being a year and a half, which is pretty um, pretty awesome. It's quite quite a decent turnaround from. That fits, sounds from concept, quick. So. I mean, obviously it's yeah procedurally generated and everything, and all the levels are different. So there wasn't, and there's, I guess that's a decent turn. Obviously, I'm not a game developer. I don't know what I'm talking about. But like, yeah, that you, seems, you know, that seems very quick. It seems very quick. Yeah. How many people work at Stormcloud? As we have a total of 10 on the project. We've got a bit less now because we're done with the project. Yeah. We had 10 at the time um, across art, um, code, design, QA, and like myself. Cool. Um, so uh, a fairly small team across the all yeah. disciplines. Yeah, definitely. Um, so why ASCII? So um, Status Chance tweeted me this and said, was it always the plan to use ASCII? Was that from the start? Yeah, yeah, no, it was. Yeah, so that was actually where the idea came from. It was basically um, Frank, the founder of the company, the owner of the company. He wanted to make a game that sort of um, was a homage to the games he played growing up. Yeah. So he played these sort of um, traditional um, ASCII titles. Uh, he wanted to do a version of that, and he thought he could do a version keeping that art style but in three D. So that was always the plan at the start um, for the game. And then once we had that art style kind of nailed down, that theme nailed down. We started fleshing out the features, which again was heavily inspired by these by these classic titles. But the art style was probably the thing that was nailed first, or at least the the, the idea of the art style yeah. was the thing that was kind of nailed first. And after that, we added in all the features and mechanics. Yeah, because I love the art style. Because like one of my favourite things is when you uh, finally collect all the. So basically, people that don't know, with weapons, you have to get all the letters corresponding to a certain weapon. Once you find the um, what are the books called, have they got a proper name? Yeah. And the codexes, codexes yeah, yeah. Codices. So to then be able to create the weapon, and I, I just love that when it's being built, all the letters kind of slotting into place on the weapon. I it's love nice. that little yeah, feature. Nice. Um, so yeah, me too. yeah. Um, why add hunger? Is another question. Why add so hunger? That was another question from Status Strouds and from me as well. 
because I'm cool. I was curious as to why. Yeah, no, um, so um, a couple of reasons. Uh, one was hunger was always a mechanic in a lot of um, a lot of titles, and you don't see it as often anymore. But we had it in for a couple of reasons. One, you've got special abilities in the game, um, and those recharge over time, yeah. and they're quite powerful. Um, and same as mana for using magic, and and they recharge over time. But we wanted to have a thing in the game where you had to make sure that you were managing that recharge. Um, because if you, if you keep spamming the special abilities, you're going to get through the level yeah. quite quite quickly. Um, so we wanted to have a sense that the more you do things in the game, so the more you jump and attack and use abilities, um, your hunger will go down faster. So that means you've got to eat food to make sure that you can keep using those special abilities. Um, so it's just a way of kind of managing that in a, in a sense. Um, in addition to that, we want to have an, another uh, health option in the game. So other than just potions, food gives you health as well. It's less health, but it gives you health as yeah. well. So it's just a way to kind of um, add a sense of um, management to the game. So you're, by managing your hunger, you're making sure that you can do more special abilities and um, also get health back at later dates. Yeah, definitely. Um, so it's just kind of like, like, like a micromanagement thing. Yeah, because I found that when I my hunger was low, but I had full health, I wanted to try and quickly find some enemies first so that I'd lose a bit of damage and wouldn't feel yeah. like I'm wasting my, uh, wasting my food. Cause obviously, exactly, because exactly. it's procedurally generated. Sometimes some of my some of my playthroughs, I had tons of food and was fine, and then some of them, I'm, yeah. I've got like two bits of pizza left, and I'm struggling exactly, with everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. Which is always good fun, though. What is your favourite part of the game, personally? Because I assume you've played this a lot. Have you finished it? Oh, oh yeah, okay, oh okay. yeah. Just check. I, I hold you the world know. record. You hold, you hold the world record. The world record. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that. Um, self-proclaimed world record, admittedly, yeah. but it's still a world record. Um, so I. I, I I've got two that I kind of go between. Um, so one of them is very simple. It's when you press the, the touch button on the controller and you get that classic top-down yeah. 2D map. Um, I love that. I think it's very swish, very simple, very elegant, um, and I really like it. Um, so it's between that and co-op. Um, I think co-op is, is really fun. Uh, I really enjoy playing in the office with the QA guys. Um, we have a good, a good laugh with it. Just there's the small things where, like, um, you know, if I see one of the guys run towards a barrel... I'll throw my shield at the barrel to explode it and knock him back sort of thing um, and stuff like that. It's just kind of small things like yeah. that I quite enjoy. Or you can actually, it's quite hard to do, but if someone fires an arrow at you, you can deflect it with your shield and fire it towards your friend okay. and hit them instead. So small things like that yeah. that you know are, are harder to do and less common, but it's kind of adds some kind of like uh, humour um, to the game. So it's, I'd probably say co-op uh, wins it, but I yeah. do love the, I have, our, our 2D map in the I game. I haven't had a chance to play co-op yet. My brother is back from uni, so I should try nice. and get round to that at some point. But um, I think it's fun. Yeah, it's I love. Fun. I love. As I said earlier, that when uh, when all the letters go into the weapons, I love that when the ASCII style comes into play. But yeah, another nice. feature I love is I. I found it early. I was playing it this morning, and um, I accidentally hit a wall, and then it kind of like oh, right. it, it showed a crack, and I was like, "Hmm, I wonder yeah. if I can break through." And broke through the wall, and then came to a secret area. And I, that was awesome. Yeah. I, I enjoyed that yeah, a lot. I always cool. enjoy those little things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's nice. Um, so, has the game got trophy support? Is another question that I'm sure a few people would be curious to hear about. You know it does. It's got that platinum. Has it got, it's got a platinum? platinum. I, I, I couldn't be a fan of PSA Love You and not give the game a platinum. Come well, on, that's man. what I assumed. Thing is, so I did some research before because I was like, maybe this answer is already here. And I Googled it. Luckily, the name having an at symbol makes it quite easy to Google, which I yeah, appreciate. Yeah, it makes it easier. Definitely, because yeah. Googling just brutal is never going to work. But no, uh, anyway, no, no. I it's dangerous as well. Yeah, exactly. And um, I managed to find that it said someone said that it had no platinum. So you might want to go and correct them somewhere. Yeah. So uh, the, the way it works, um, and I guess for any devs out there, is when you first do your when you first make your game, your, your game's class. Well, for an indie game, your class is like a small game, okay. and, and that's just like the default thing you, your class does. Um, so small games don't get platinums. Um, so when the game was first created, it was a, it was a small game. We didn't have a platinum. Um, but then we asked, we're like, hey, can we get a platinum? They were like, yeah, of course you can. And I was like, oh, cool. that, that, that was dead easy. Um, but, like, but, but in terms of like the setup, it's not, I think it's one of those things that if you don't know that platinums are important or that platinums yeah. are a thing or trophy hunting is a thing, you would never ask for that, for that feature, no. if that makes sense. But it's good, it's good um, to know because, yeah, I couldn't find any information out there and it's good to, I'm sure I don't, I, I personally don't chase platinums, but I know a lot of no, people out there do. So it's no, good. They do, yeah good to know um and then i've got some little notes here so yeah i loved 
just things that I loved while playing it. I took little notes. Thank you. So I liked when, like, for example, zombies need fire to kill them. I enjoyed that. I yep. came to a scenario where um, I was in a room, but I'd accidentally destroyed all the fire pits and everything before I realized there oh, were nice. zombies in it. So then I had my, my torch had run out of flame, so I couldn't kill the zombies. So I was just having to run away while they were chasing me from room to room. And nice. uh, I enjoyed that. Um, another thing, the, the way I keep dying. So I, I, I think I've died in combat once. Every other time I die is through jump, accidentally falling through the yeah. floor. Pretty much that's all my deaths is just falling yeah, through yeah. the floor. Yeah, so actually, I was thinking that today in the office because that's one of the things that um, we've heard a few times on, on Twitter and, um, well, basically anyone spoke yeah. to the game. Um, and I think it's one of those things that, in, in hindsight, we maybe should have had a bigger pool of testers. Uh, sorry, by testers, I mean like um, user testers, yes, yeah, like people yeah, coming yeah. in and playing it. Because when we took the game to um, uh, PSX and, and E3, actually, and PAX, um, and then people come in, they didn't have that problem, but that was more concentrate like, so when we brought people in to play the game um in the office it was people that we thought would we knew would like this game yeah. so they came in with a with a notion of i know what to expect i'm and this is going to be hard and so forth yeah. and they didn't really have any problems with that um but i guess when you give the game to someone who isn't used to that mechanic or that style of game i can see why it might be be trickier um so i think in hindsight that's one thing i, I i've learned from that because we were surprised actually because it's something that doesn't really happen. The only time I die in the in the office is from falling, actually. But it's when I'm trying to speed run, yeah. and I'm just running through. And because what I do now is I I actually on those like multi sections, I'll jump, and I know that just as I land, I can jump immediately. Yeah. Um, sometimes I'll do it too quick, and I'll and then I'll, I'll miss the second jump. If yeah. that makes sense. So I I do die that now and again. But it's one of those things that we didn't we didn't expect um, based on our watching people play it be it you know e3 impact yeah. and so forth yeah, but I, I do think in hindsight we, we probably will in the future do more frequent um play testing of the game with users based on those who will actually play the game and maybe those who might like the game but wouldn't be into that genre or that style if that for sure because i mean it, it's, a, it's a hard game you know it's permadeath and it, it means that there is a challenge to it and i think that although i don't i i, I if i fall down the hole i go oh well fair like that's a bit annoying but whatever it happens like try yeah. again um and i th but i can see that people some people could have an issue with it because i th yeah. it some it ca it feels like a dirty death almost it doesn't feel like an like you've 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 died and you've died fighting some big enemy or like a big group yeah. of enemies that have swamped you and you're like oh that's i just messed up you just fallen down a hole and it could feel a bit bit of a cheat but it's obviously it makes you know it does make sense um, yeah, no, I, yeah, I understand that for sure. That's that, like because I was trying to think of negative things for this game, and that is a. It's not really a negative thing. It's just me falling down a hole. That's the only <laughs> thing I can think of, which is you know, it's not much because it is a. I enjoy. I'm enjoying it a lot, and I, as I Thank said, you. I'm gonna continue playing it through because it's it's perfect for me when I, you know, when I've got little gaps in my time, a little half an hour here, hour here, I can just jump in, get through some levels, and then just play it again tomorrow. Um, nice, yeah, so yeah. I enjoy that a lot. Um, my favourite class so far is the wizard one. What's he called? Oh, really? Is he called wizard? The mage. 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 mage yeah. He's a wizard. He's a mage. Crushed it. Yeah. yeah. Nailed it. Um, just because you get um, a couple of range shots. Because obviously you can use the shield for the others, but that's yeah. one, and then it takes a while to get the shield back. But I like the mage because you can fire off a few shots. So if if you happen to come across one of those archers that are in the that are off to the side of the map. You can get right, them a yeah, bit easier hurts. rather than like yeah, having yeah. to spend twenty seconds going through. What's your yeah, favorite yeah. class? Have you got favorite? The Amazon. Okay. Yeah, the Amazon. That's my Definitely, second. That's yeah. why I started. That was the first one I went for. All right, nice. And then, um, and then I went mage. I've tried warrior yeah. as well, and I'm currently on a ranger one. Nice. Yeah, I, I think they're all good. I mean, the the, the warrior is good because he's got more health and does more damage at the start mm -hmm. of the game, like the very very start. Um, so he's a bit more forgiving. Um, he's a little bit slower, a little bit more okay, cumbersome. Um, but I quite like the Amazon um, just because she's kind of got some good speed on her a different kind of move set with the kicks she's got a little yep. bit more distance um, which you can get in and kind of kill enemies so um, yeah I'm, I'm fine with Amazon because yeah. with the favorite. mage like you you can get the warrior strength pretty much yeah. almost you know within the first dungeon or first level yeah, sorry, definitely. Yeah, yeah. and like you kind of you're through so yeah. that's why it's my, that's my favourite but yeah cool You've got some questions for me, have you? I do. I am ready. So we're actually going to go rapid fire. Okay. Um, I'll try to give a name for it because obviously you've got rapid fire and beyond. 
and then I was like, T Hawkins T Fire. I couldn't think of a name. So we're just going, we're just going rapid fire. So I want you to clear your mind. Yeah, there are no wrong answers apart from the wrong ones. Okay, okay so clear your mind. Right, I'm going to go for it. You, you got to answer right away. All right. Okay. So <laughs> first one. Here we go. Tea or coffee? Tea. E three or PSX? E three. Vita or DS? Vita. Chocolate or crisps? Ooh, chocolate. Greg or Colin? Uh, ooh, Colin. See, the answer there was Kevin. That that was okay. a trick question. That was a trick question. The answer, the answer is always answer. Kevin. That was it. My five one. So I enjoyed that. Tea, tea was very British. I accept that. Well, I, I'm, I'm more of a coffee person myself, but tea. I see why you've the done that. The thing with it is right. At home, I drink tea. Right. I only drink tea at home. I don't ever drink tea. I'll drink tea at people's houses as well, but I never. if I'm out, I would never buy tea. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you wouldn't do that. What's yeah. the point? Yeah. But, yeah, like, if you. I was out, I would drink... I I rarely drink... I I tend to drink, like, a latte or something if I'm out. Nice, yeah, yeah. But I'm not... Making one of those at home is a lot of effort. All they do those instant ones that taste like crap. So, yeah, I tend, you know, good, yeah. I'm treating myself when I'm out. So if I was, no, exactly. I think I think is with a uh, with tea as well. You can drink it all day. Exactly. With coffee you can't do that. You'll be you'll be it'll be over. You'll yeah. die. You'll you'll just I've die. I've done it before. Not good. Not advisable. Yeah, it's not. No tea. Not I good. drink. I drink probably. This is my third or fourth cup today. Maybe it's midday. It's not too bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. It's not too and then bad. you went. You went. E, you went E three, didn't you? I did go E three. Just yeah. it's more diverse. I think, I think big news. A, a bit more. Big happens. news as well. Yeah. Like everyone saves it up, but I mean. I've never been to E3, but I've been to PSX. PSX was good fun, but I think yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of that was who I was with as well. Um, but I mean, it's it's a it's a fun event. Everything's PlayStation. It's, it was pretty Makes good, sense. but uh, yeah, that no, was good. What else? And then Vita DS Vita. Come Obviously, on, that's pretty standard. That I've got a DS, but the yeah. battery's broken. I bought it off my sister because oh, really? the battery was broken for like twenty quid. But I just haven't bought a new battery for it yet. Nice, nice. And then chocolate crisps. What did you say? I again? Said chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. Nice. And I see. I, I, Crisps, I would go. Nice pack of McCoy's. Yeah, McCoy's can't, can't beat it. But no, McCoy's I've, are, got, McCoy's I've got a bit of a sweet tooth. Sweets are my real weakness. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If, if you gave nice, me a bag nice. of sweets, I'd smash them in like a minute. Oh, really? I had a, a whole packet of. Do you get like, uh, aniseed imperials? Yeah, uh, we can't. You know yeah, I know they are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had. You you, you had to have like one like every like hour. I had a whole packet in ten minutes. That's and a let me tell solid. You, they are. They were good though. I I went for it. I just I went. I'm very. I went, I'm I went impressed. Back. Yeah, I can feel it still in my mouth though. It was a bit, a bit of a mistake. Yeah. Um, and then Gregor Colin, you got it wrong. Sadly, the answer was Kevin. So yeah. I mean, you, you tried. I'll give you. I'll give you that. I'll give you a half point maybe, but the answer's Colin. Like Big fan of Kevin. Still doesn't follow me on Twitter yeah, yeah. though. Oh really? What Kevin? Yeah. If you watch, he said this, he, no, he said he never would. He's done it. He said he it. never would. Yeah. Wow, well, that is unacceptable to be honest. It's okay though. It's okay. Colin was Colin was my first. He's the OG. Oh, really? Yeah, that made me. Maybe nice. that was an emotional day. I hope someone clips this and all they get is you saying Colin was my first and it was an emotional day yeah. <laughs> and that's it that's that's, that cut, that. that's, that's, cut that out. Out. that's yeah, ruined yeah, forever yeah. someone someone Corny Roger if you're watching this I want that clip Some, someone there. will do it now yeah I can't wait I'm it's excited gonna happen. For just on loop just excited. on loop for 24 yeah. hours yeah just a vine yeah. that'd be amazing <laughs> that'd be amazing cool that'd be good I think that's uh, I think that's pretty much it awesome man this is good thank you. Myself. thank you for giving us some information Thank you for helping right. make the game and sort it out and do stuff. I did most of it myself, so I, yeah. I, I, I take that praise. Thank you yeah. very much. And uh, thanks to everyone at Stormcloud, because it's a good game. I recommend it. Thank you It's much. good fun. Thank you very so, much. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, all. Cool.